All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are in beautiful Bali, and I am here with Pasta Fake Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. Huh? Who is that? It's Obama. It's Obama. I think he's the real Obama. But it's... I see. Look at <laughs> huh? Obama. All right, so um, Asa is an incredibly talented uh, in many ways, but one of the things he's doing right now is he's doing fruit carving. So I just want you to take a look at this little masterpiece here. How long have you been uh, carving fruit for? Uh, carving for us in this village is something like a heritage. So I started when I was a child, around uh, 10 years old. From, I learned from my, my grandfather, my father. So carving in this village is like, this is one of the villages that's best known for its carving. So you come through Bud and, and you look at the stone, you look at the, the wood carvings and everywhere you go, it's like masterpieces and it's beautiful. And uh, Asa's uh, translated his gift into creating gorgeous and beautiful fruit. But in, in addition to that, Asta is also a brilliant and uh, wise soul that he's taught me a lot about manifesting and, and the law of attraction. Uh, you've been reading and studying a lot, haven't you? A long time. Will you, will you share your philosophy on just the importance of smiling and starting every day with, with a smile? Because uh, do you know, when we smile, something like uh, we attract happy to our, our soul. So if our happy soul starts from in the morning, all of the day we will be happy. When I start uh, for loving, Ah, oh, like everything is uh, will be fine all the time. <laughs> this is what I love. I, I notice. Uh, I notice that people in Bali tend to be really, very happy, but Obama, Asta, Asta, Asta Obama, is um, is uh, is particularly like exudes this, and, and it's a really powerful principle because what he's talking about is like the, the power of attracting and manifesting in our life. And when we when we start with a seed in the morning of what we want to create, when we start with that intention, when we when we take time to intentionally create our day and, and set it with the right, right tone, then all of a sudden, all throughout the day, we start experiencing miracles and awesomeness. And, and I love how uh, Asta talks about, you know, starting the day, looking in the mirror and just smiling. And like, what a handsome monkey in, in, my, in my room. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I think it's such a powerful principle to think about because I, I, I think men, too many people live their life in reaction, right? They wake up in the morning and, the first thing they do is they check their um, email or they hop on Facebook and then they think about all that to do and, and immediately, right from the beginning of the day, they're already sucked into this, this current of life. Situations and current events and just what's happening in their life and, and they lose presence within themselves because they're not living intentionally. And, and having a practice like this that Obama's talking about of, of waking up in the morning and smiling and just starting the day with happiness it really does then manifest and attract more and more of this brilliance and beauty into your life so what have you experienced uh, in your life that makes you so happy sometimes sometimes I just think uh, I just think first yes I'm happy but something like uh, suddenly um, I see my friend and before he never say hello suddenly hey, <laughs> Hey, uh, many, many uh, good happen in my life because uh, yes, everything must be start with a smile. That's it. Everything must start with a smile because uh, to make a base full of the words, no need to something like uh, speech or whatever. Just smile from ourselves, and then we can peace the world. When we peace ourselves first, and then we will spread up uh, a frequency in universe. Do you have a cell phone, right? I do. Everyone? Yeah, we all have mm -hmm. cell phones. Like iPhone, nice cell phone. But if in universe there is no frequency or web frequency, iPhone is nothing. In, in universe, the frequency is uh, divided become four. The first one is beta start from 12 until 24 hertz. It's E R D Z. Hey, 
that is uh, one of scientists from uh, Germany who found uh, frequency in universe. For example, when I'm talking with you now, our frequency uh, spread up in universe like this. If you don't believe, you can check by electroencephalogram, something like a computer. Frequency and vibration is so important because, because like like us just talking about like when you when you mm. send forth these mm. these emotions into the yes. universe, like it it, it, it calls and, and draws more of those things into okay. you. And so you need to be really careful about like what you're putting energy into and like where you're focusing your thoughts. Okay. Second one is alpha between eight until twelve hertz. That is. Uh, when we are something like uh, in the silent place and then we just sit down and uh, like uh, imagine something. And then the third one is theta between 4 and 8 hertz. That is when we are going for sleeping or when we are wake up. And then the last one is delta between 0 until 4 hertz. That is when we are uh, when we have a deep sleep. We can use this frequency for ourselves for whatever we, are, we need in our life. For example, so that's why in the morning, I like to something like a sit down. I start from five o'clock. So the frequency of my uh, my mind and also the frequency of universe still between alpha and theta because everyone are sleeping. But start from six o'clock, the frequency already better because everyone wake up. Oh, what time now? Oh, I have check email. Blah 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 blah. So that's why in the morning when uh, when uh, I just sit down, I try to make uh, affirmation for myself or suggestion. And if uh, the frequency in my mind harmony with the frequency of uh, in universe, what I think about it will be true. It is called law of attraction. Or in Bali, it is called karma. All right, fantastic. Well, I'll let you get back to your fruit carving. Like, this is so beautiful. Thank you for this, this wisdom from uh, Balinese Obama, Mr. Asta, a powerful truce. And uh, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to continue to learn powerful truths. And until next time, remember, you got one life to live. Live big.